The loss of life is much greater on the Philippine island of Luzon. In July of 1990, a quake measuring 7.7 .7 shakes this main island. In the aftermath, 2,600 are dead or missing. The scenic resort city of Baguio becomes a zone of destruction. Even as dangerous aftershocks continue to rock the region, courageous civilians try to reach victims. But the sheer scale of the disaster overwhelms Luzon's rescue resources. An appeal for international help goes out. The United States immediately sends in the elite urban search and rescue team out of Florida's Metro-Dade County. As soon as they land, these specialists receive their first rescue assignment and begin preparations. Their mission, retrieving a victim trapped for two days underneath the collapsed ruins of a high-rise luxury hotel. Mayo Java has been caught under tons of concrete, with one leg pinned by a steel beam. Before using their power tools, the team must visualize his location by the sound of his voice, and then cut near him without injuring him. Mayo! He's that way. Since leaving Florida, the team has worked with no sleep and no rest. Hey, Mayo? Am I touching you? Am I touching you? Okay, that's you. But when one of them touches Mayo, they feel rejuvenated. Mayo, Mayo! Mayo, shut up and listen! Mayo! Oblivious to aftershocks, rescuers focus on carving out an escape route for Mayo. Put your hand out. Put your hand out. Okay, good. After nearly two and a half days spent pinned by the rubble with neither food nor water, Mayo summons the strength to respond to his rescuer's request. The sight of his hand lifts the rescuer's spirits and their pace quickens. They continue to cut away the debris, mindful that one wrong move could cause the unstable structure to collapse on them all. You're coming up, buddy. Get out of the way. How you doing, Mayo? Okay? Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Watch his face for that. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, buddy. Don't hyper Okay, so we need that strap. Let go of that strap. Come on, we grab one. Let's go of the strap. Because of the Metro Day disaster team's skill and dedication, Mayo Jala is again a free man. The earthquake fails to claim another victim.